welcome back. Uh, it is 20 past midnight and I am just back from seeing uh, Love, Simon at the cinema, which is based on the book Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. Um, I re-listened to the audiobook of this book during the week, ready for my outing to the cinema tonight to go and see this film. Uh, and I got this lovely film tie-in edition of the book from my library. Uh, thank you very much, my library, for having this in, um, just for this video. So you can see what the, uh, the film poster and the book have in common. Um, and I, as always, will make this a spoiler-free book versus movie, so I'm gonna tell you the blurb from the back of the book so that you know that I'm not giving you any spoilers because you do find out quite a bit from the synopsis on the back of the book. So, 16-year-old Simon, 16-year-old uh, and not-so-openly gay Simon Spear prefers to save his drama for the school musical, but when an email falls into the wrong hands, his secret is at risk of being thrust into the spotlight. Now, Simon is actually being blackmailed. If he doesn't play wingman for class clown Martin, his sexual identity will become everybody's business. Worse, the privacy of Blue, the pen name of the boy he's been emailing with, will be jeopardised. With so with some messy dynamics emerging in his once tight-knit group of friends and his email correspondence with Blue growing more flirtatious every day, Simon's junior year has suddenly gotten all kinds of complicated. Now change-averse Simon has to find a way to step out of his comfort zone and before he's pushed out without alienating his friends, compromising himself or fumbling a shot at happiness with the most comforting... No, most confusing, adorable guy he's ever met. You'll have to excuse the fumbling. My eyes are a little bit sore from having a little cry at the film. This is literally fresh out of the cinema. Just come in the door and sat down to film this. So, yeah, the premise behind this is Simon is emailing Blue and the emails between them are just gorgeously romantic and you'll be pleased to know that they are just as romantic as in the film as they are in the book. This, this, uh, when people sort of ask whether they think, whether I think they'll like the book, I'm like, it's just so romantic. It's just so cute and romantic. And the interaction between Simon and Blue is just as cute and romantic in the film as it is in the book. Um, the difference between that interaction is that um, we get to hear different voices depending on who Simon suspects Blue to be at that moment in time. During the course of the book he kind of gets some ideas about who Blue might be um, and the same thing happens in the film. Um, in the book I think yeah it's his junior year of high school whereas in the film it is his senior year of high school so that is slightly different um, but his group of friends is um, just as fabulous in the film as they are in the book. It was great to see them on the screen. I was just as excited as uh, to see them on the screen as I was about seeing Simon on the screen. Uh, this is very much how I kind of pictured Simon being when I first read the book. Uh, this was the very second book that I read last year, so in 2017 it was the second book that I read. And um, the, yeah, his friends as well are pretty much as I pictured them, except for Martin. Martin is quite different to how I pictured him in the book as he is in the film and he seems to have a slightly bigger role in the film in that he kind of gets more screen time than he gets page time in the book. Uh, other people who seem to get more screen time in the film than they do in the book are Simon's parents but obviously we've got quite big names playing them and um, it was the parts with his parents that really made me cry and really made me emotional. I loved those scenes in the film. Um, so if you enjoy Simon's parents' scenes in the book, you're going to love them in the film because they get a lot more screen time uh, and it's just really, really nice. Um, in the book, Simon has two sisters, but in the film he only has one sister. Um, and I was a little bit disappointed that we didn't get to see the relationship with the older sister in 
the film as well. I'm not sure why they decided to do that. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, it didn't take away from the overall enjoyment of the film. I'm coming out of this film, you know, happy and having enjoyed it and going, mm, shall I go and see it again? Um, but yeah, I was a bit like disappointed that he only had one sister. I was like, oh, when he was introducing a bit at the beginning, where's the other sister? Um, so yeah, that's kind of the main differences that are just kind of logistical differences or the amount of screen time that people get or character differences that we have. Um, the other difference that I kind of noticed is that the the kind of affection and like demonstration that we get is a lot more of like sort of physical, like imagining physical demonstrations of affection rather than written demonstrations of affection but that might just be because we get to actually see them on screen whereas we can only read the words in the book I think being written down the interaction between Simon and Blue for me having it written down makes it a little bit kind of more romantic or even maybe a little bit hotter um whereas sort of seeing Simon kind of imagining kissing whomever he thinks blue is um or you know uh, imagining holding hands or whatever actually seeing it happen is slightly less romantic than the way it it, it made itself seem in my head which might sound a bit odd but that's just my thoughts um and the other thing that kind of, I don't know, was slightly different in, is the, um, the drama teacher, the teacher who is in charge of the school musical. In the book, she does have um, quite an important role to play. Um, and she also has this important role to play in the film. But I feel like her role is slightly more comedic in the film as she, um, she still has the same lines and everything but it it's almost like she she's she's more of her own character rather than being a character that's just tied to the musical or just tied to Simon um and so I really find found myself warming to the teacher in the film um more than I did in the book I kind of didn't notice myself noticing her in the book like she's there and she has a couple of you know important scenes in the book but in the film I came out and I was like oh like I really like the character of the teacher she was great I want to see more for her <laughs> um or maybe that's just yeah me being a teacher or you know me being old um but yeah overall um they did a really good job it kind of feels like separate from the book because there were quite a lot of these little like like I say little changes that just made it that little bit different um but it stays true to the story and it stays true to Simon and um so yeah I would really recommend it if you like the book you're going to like the film you're not going to come out of there thinking oh my god they butchered it they did a really good job um but yeah some of the more physical aspects of it because it's not literally just on a page and in my head mean that I kind of would separate it as this lovely romantic comedy coming of age sweet oh just nice and then this coming of age romantic fiction pictures in my head um, but yeah, like I say, if you enjoyed the book, then you will enjoy the film, um, and I can definitely recommend it. So there are my thoughts. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments um, if you would like future book versus film videos to be divided into spoiler-free and spoiler-full sections in case you are interested in hearing my thoughts once you have seen the film or once you have definitely read the book because I always assume that people don't necessarily um haven't necessarily done either when I make these videos and try and make them spoiler-free so yeah let me know in comments if you would like to see 
a kind of divided video for my next book versus video um and yeah if you enjoyed this obviously give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed because i do have another couple of book versus uh, book versus movie videos coming up for you um as well as some more exciting stuff next week so yeah thank you for watching and i will see you with those next week bye